to Robin at one point. He was using Robin at one point. Yeah. Uh, Fusion, of course, has uh, always been known to play Zelda for yeah, like, the Brawl, longest time. But way back in Brawl, right? St. Louis, uh, you know, uh, part of the connecting scene just four hours out of the Kansas City area. I've been on a couple carpools with the guy. Very, All right. you know, he's an interesting character. In interesting to see, you know, you from that, those, <laughs> that region and still be able to travel with somebody here. Who, I wonder if Fujin even mind knows who you are because he just told me to just drop his stuff here with us. <laughs> yeah, you will know who I am, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, but I'll, going through it, it is that Robin coming out from Fallen and, of course, Fujin then going that Zelda. And Fusion's always been one of the top Zelda players in the country across all the games. So, you know, very under the radar, though. Yeah. Moved up to SoCal not too long ago, but maybe at least a, a couple years ago. So he's been out here for a hot minute. Yeah. Actually, I believe he's in attendance at US. Mm -hmm. He goes to a lot of those collegiate uh, locals for sure. And they're opening up, man. Yeah, Nero's Love coming out. And, you know, of course, you're going to see Fusion with some solid fundamental play overall. And, of course, speaking of solid fundamental play, uh, Fallen being the four-time PGR, right? He's going to also have solid fundamentals. So we're in for a good match no matter what. And of course, so we were saying that was on the line. If Fujin is able to win this, uh, he's going to create some nasty tiebreakers in the in the set. But I think he's pretty much, you know, safely been eliminated, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's safe to say. He'll be able to walk with a little bit of a pride on the line, but unfortunately, that elimination will cost him by not going that far into your fallen. Though able to take first blood here with that. Fire, yeah, our fire, fire set up. The, uh, the OG holy water, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> that is, well, that's why I tell people I feel like Belmonts are honestly the new, it's the new Robin, right? Uh -huh. Back then, Robin was like, oh, okay, there's a few Robin mains out there. They have a couple winning matchups. Now it's kind of like Belmonts for sure. I'm picking over that stride. Having them, I feel like Belmonts is better Robin. And uh, Fusion having his hands full so far, not really having too many answers for Fallen's Robin. So much good pressure coming out. It yeah. could be matchup in obscurity too. It's also one of those things that we talked about, I think, earlier on the stream, right? Like you may be used to fighting with top tiers, especially being a Zelda main, you have to get used to fighting Wolf, Palutena, all these other characters. But when you come down to a character like Robin, things can be a little bit difficult because you may yeah. not know enough. Both cool. these players uh, capitalizing on that. My opponent has no idea what's going on, so right. if I lightning kick them at, you know, at 70, they're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Right, but you can't really count on that too much because Fallen definitely one of those players who has been playing Smash 4 and was one of the best in Smash 4. Even un unsponsored. Honestly, Fallen went through a majority of Smash 4 unsponsored. Yeah, the ledge trap situation right there kind of overshot it. And he's a little bit of trouble now. Oh my god, the, the Phantom was out and almost started wreaking havoc on it. But Fallen able to restore order and he's right back into it. Yeah, it doesn't look like Fusion has really a uh, clear idea on how to handle the the arc fire scenario on the ledge. Just a, such a good ledge trap. If that comes out, he has been taking a huge amount of damage. Or losing his stocks loose on the first stop. But he's done a really good job of battling back into this match and, you know, falling, getting up, up into 93s. Uh, he's in kill range now, especially with all those really powerful moves that is all the sweet spots. It yeah. Could be trouble. Good spell trouble there, but that Nair, of course, that's one thing, one change that they had from Smash 4 to Ultimate. Nair actually has 11 sword, and he rolls from the up because he knows the trickery that Fujin might be trying to play. Stalls his, his upper, and he connects it to a Nair. Good play from Fallen. Yeah, Fallen doing a really good job in that sequence, putting on huge damage in the early game. Oh, I missed the mark. Yeah, Fujin definitely has his hands full. Trying to get set up with the Phantom, but it's not doing a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of good for him so far. And okay, there's an adaptation. Gets out of that situation, but got a little scared in spot dodge instead after the teleport. Probably was clear to get away, hold shield or something like that. Sweet spot before there. Fujin makes this makes the stock even the percent out of deficit falling with great aerial plays here. Sets up that trap there with the arc fire and the confirm from the arc thunder fallen. Still demonstrating why he was four time PGR. Shinta hey, could, the, Shinta, hoodie, Shinta could <laughs> not even do that. Where's his hoodie, Shinta could not, he, he could not do that. He could not do that. But yeah, the, where's his hoodie at though? Like, he looked like he was oh, that is, yo, he took off the hoodie, man. Yeah. He knows that time is that 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 uh, that it's era. It's a new era. It's a new era, man. <laughs> and the, the crazy thing about that hoodie is that hoodie actually has a name. Yeah, but the one the one hoodie he wears always is that blue, the light blue and gray oh. hoodie. Yeah. I thought he was trying to go like cool guy, anime cool guy, just put the hoodie on after he gets that kill, like. Yeah. You know. But he, and I swear he reached for it, but it was not there. So. It's all good. Going back to Robin, same same matchup. Let's see where Fusion counter picks. I didn't actually see uh, when they were clicking, uh, you know, the buttons. Too concerned about <laughs> where the hoodie was at. <laughs> exactly. Talos right. is where, the pick. Where's Where's Fallen? You know, front, you know, 
tried and true hoodie. But anyways, let's go right here in the cows. Has this is the kind of thing where it's FD to a point where you get to the edge guard, where the edge guards tend to matter a little bit differently because of those platforms. So things are going to work a little bit differently here for Fuji. And now they have the knight and the platform to kind of move around, fall a little bit. And right. And not just that, it's just like, you know, from a landing trap standpoint, I, I think uh, Fusion's hoping that no platforms is able to get him, let him get more mileage out of his phantoms. Because he didn't really true. get anything going out of it. Nair, nice, looking for that follow up immediately afterward, and Fusion able to come back on the stage. Good chase, fallen, kind of gives up after the first grab. I don't like the fact that he doesn't try to go for number, just understands I missed my grab come back and take a little bit more of center stage or just move away from Fujin as much as possible. Doing a good job so far. Fujin trying to capitalize on some opportunities, but good coming out, good play coming out from Fallen to stuff the approaches. Um, oh, there you go. Gets a Nehru's love reflecting the Arc Thunder. Back air, yep. I like that. He knows that Knight has a little bit of end lag after Zelda throws it out, so he's able to connect that back air and read the fact that Fujin was a little bit towards the corner. And it felt like uh, Fusion was doing a really good job of uh, <laughs> controlling the pace of the matchup, but of course it's Fallen coming out with the lead early. Yeah. Back air. No, and he sets up for. Yeah, he tried to get a down special water. for uh, yeah for a command grab landing. Maybe get some health back. Good pivot grab coming out from Fusion. Not enough to kill. That's got to be frustrating. But good DI mix up. Fallen might have been in the fourth row. But, but there's that Phantom covering the landings that we were talking about. He had the full knight there, so he's able to actually swing the sword. Last hit. And I feel like that's why Fuji kind of has the stage in play here because, like I said, he has the knight that's able to go through that level of platform. So if you try to land on the platform when you're off stage, it may feel like FD, but it's FD to a point. And really good job so far by Fallen managing his tome levels. You know, he's in that kill percentage. Oh, oh and the wow. late hit a four on, man. You gotta watch it. You can even tell some people in the crowd are a little bit shocked about it. Yeah, that last hit just. Uh, it's always that last one that's the one that kills you, especially in those ledge traps scenarios. You think you're home free, and then you get nicked by the last piece, and it's so powerful. Yeah. Closing out the stock. Yeah, red alert now for Fujin. You know, just trying to play upset, trying to do his best for the, uh, you know, for the stream monsters, letting him know that he's definitely a quality Zelda player. Just might have run into a little bit of a wall. Uh, I mean, in my opinion, man, who the heck wakes up at six in the morning in their life? And tells him, yo, man, I mean Zelda. Oh, who, who in well, the right mind? Does, man. Who does, One in a few, man. One in a few. Yeah, good. Good uh, z uh, zoning in and out right there. Some dash dance against a forward smash. And it's actually pretty close. If he can put on some damage, we're looking at a game. But Fallen's picking up right where he left off. Playing the zoning game just nice and easy. Down special to up air. Or down throw to up air. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You know, just very... Very fallen, <laughs> very fallen. That is very true. It's uh, definitely a treat to see Fallen picking the sticks back up. Just such a talented player yeah. throughout the last decade. With Robin, you know, of all characters. Right. Yeah, I, would not, I would not have expected him to come back a Robin man from yeah. retirement, let me tell you. But hey, sometimes tacticians got a tactician, right? That is true. <laughs> he is a little bit used to that being a former Rosalina main. OK. So Fusion has a punch, a puncher's chance. He's got the Phantom out. And he's got a lightning kick if he lands, you know, catches Fallen sleeping. Yeah, so. and that sweet spot will definitely rob Fallen of all the momentum he's built up in this game. Pretty much the oh, stop, but he it, connects him at the last second with Arc Fire, just when Fujin thought it was safe to come out the gate. Right. So Fallen sealing, you know, commanding victory, looking like one of the front runners in bracket to yeah. take it. So because he cleared out that uh, 